all animals. Older female elk could be outsmarting their hunters. What's your spirit animal? If you ask a mature female elk from Canada, there's a good chance she'd say Neo from the Matrix. A new study published this week has a group of researchers now referring to the wise old ladies of the elk population of Alberta as virtually bulletproof by age nine. They came to this conclusion upon observing survival techniques these elk developed in order to avoid their top predator, man. From tracking the movements of 49 female elk from 2007 to 2012, scientists found over time the animals would learn to cut through rugged terrain and rest in dense forests in order to avoid the arrows of hunters at close range. Acknowledging the mistakes of others, they would steer clear of open pastures to stay out of plain sight, understanding the preferred scenarios of a rifle user. The elk also became increasingly aware of vehicular traffic trends, figuring out that more cars on the roads likely meant more killers on the prowl. Female elk live roughly four times longer than males, likely due to a higher average intelligence and hunter preference. Poor elk males. Sorry, guys. That being said, the next time you elk hunters come home without a carcass, don't be mad. Have mad respect. And never underestimate the ability of a wild female to outwit. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Humans and elk often have run-ins with Tomo News worthy results. Elk makes unexpected home visit. An elk became the second large animal within a week to drop into a house in the same town when it fell into the basement of a home in Haley, Idaho. Last Thursday night, an elk was in the backyard of a home when it got a little too close to a deep window well. The elk ended up falling into the well and crashing through the window into the basement. A man at the house then called police. Haley police officers and Idaho Department of Fish and Game Conservation officers responded to the call. As other officers blocked the doors in the house, one of them smacked the elk on the rump with a hockey stick. This caused the elk to walk up the stairs and out the front door. On January 29th, a moose fell into another home in Haley. That animal had to be tranquilized before officials carried it up the stairs and out the front door. Because of heavy snowfall, large numbers of wildlife have been reported near many residential areas in the town. Six-point bull elk rescued by Oregon State Troopers. On December 27th, Fish and Wildlife Troopers in Prineville, Oregon, rescued the six-point bull elk after responding to a call. The caller reported an elk jumping over a guardrail and flipping over, landing on its back and getting stuck in the snow. The troopers were on patrol looking for anglers and migratory bird hunters in the Crooked River area when they got the report. They used a rope to pull the bull elk right side up. Earlier in the video, he kicked and struggled to turn over in the deep pile of snow. He must have tuckered himself out because after the troops turned him over, he still couldn't stand on his own four legs. But after a few minutes, he was able to hobble away from the area. Oregon State Police posted the video of the triumphant rescue to their YouTube account and made a note that the time code in the video is incorrect. The winter rescue actually occurred in December. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. A young elk shown going head to head with a photographer in a YouTube video that went viral was euthanized on Friday for his own good, apparently. James York was going along the Cataluchi Trail in the Smoky Mountains National Park early one morning to take pictures. A fearless young elk found his camera interesting. Then they butted heads for nearly seven minutes before park rangers came to York's aid. The rangers tried to teach the buck to be afraid of humans by setting off firecrackers and shooting beanbags his way. But the efforts were for naught, and in the end, they decided the best thing for him was to bring a swift end to his young life. York was shook up by what happened, saying he was looking forward to watching the elk grow up. 